Hi, this is Joy at Red Pine Quilt Shop. Today we're talking about the Creative Grids Curvy Log Cabin Ruler. The ruler that you see in front of me is the ruler for the 8 inch finished size block. It will do up to an 8 inch finished size block. The ruler also comes in actually two other finished sizes. It comes in a 6 inch finished and a 4 inch finished as well. And they all make Curvy Log Cabin blocks. So they're Creative Grids rulers. The nice thing about those is they have a QR code on the front, so you can scan that QR code and it will take you to a video of how to use the tool. So if you need a refresher, it's easy to find. You also can always download another copy of the instructions that come with the ruler from the Creative Grids website. It shows you on the ruler um, two different block images so you kind of have a sense of what it makes and the curved effect so the curvy log cabin um, that effect is actually um, comes from the fact that you have a skinny side to the block and a wider side to the block and that's what creates that illusion of the curve. The ruler is nicely marked it shows you right here the minimum width of your narrow strips and the minimum width of your wider, wider strips. And it also shows you what size you have to cut your center square. So a lot of things are right on the ruler so you don't have to worry about looking them up later. They are right there and easy to find. So here's a couple more images of quilts that are being made with the ruler. You can get that fun serpentine effect. I'm gonna show you a few more black images that are inside the instructions. Kind of a fun courthouse steps block. There's the skinny side, there's the wide side, and like I said that illusion of the curve is created by having skinny logs on two sides of the log cabin and wide logs on two sides of the log cabin. And then it's all a matter of how you place your lights and your darks um, to get a lot of different looks. So um, I have a couple um, projects in front of me that you can see were actually made with the 8 inch curvy log cabin block and they used the tool to create the curved face um, for the snowman and the bunny. So a cute way to um, to create that illusion of the curve. Your block is actually here to here. That is one of your 8 inch blocks and then four of them create the face. So a couple of cute options, um, but lots of really pretty um, serpentine style quilts that can be made with it as well. So to use the tool, the one thing that you do have to make sure you cut exactly, after that everything can kind of be rough cut if you want, they can be oversized pieces because you'll be trimming, but you do have to make sure that you cut that center square at one and three quarters of an inch. There's actually little holes in the ruler, so if you want you can put a pen through there and you can actually add dots to your fabric. You can see them on my block where I've made those little dots and that just marks the corners of your block so you know exactly where your seam allowance should be and it gives you just a good cross check to make sure you're getting off to a good start and you're getting a nice square start to your block. So when I'm doing a block like this, I will typically start out chain piecing it. So I will actually um, take three center squares here and I've just chain pieced them to my first log fabric. And then I'll just rough cut those apart. Chain piecing is definitely a quick way to get going, especially when you're working with the smaller sections of the block when you've only added a round or two, um, I would definitely recommend that you chain piece. So here is a center square added to a first log. When you press, you want to press towards the log that you added, so you're always pressing away from your center square, and that you will do consistently throughout. Um, you typically want to add your fabric in a clockwise direction. So I started there, I added my first log, and I added my second log. So my first two logs were wide, my next two logs will be skinny. Now I actually chain piece this, so you can see I've got a little jogged out corner there because I just rough cut my chain apart. Now I want to have a nice straight edge there before I add my next two logs. So what I can actually do 
is I can use my ruler and I'm lining up that center square marking and it has the seam allowance built in but I'm going to line that up and I can actually trim to get a nice clean edge there um, before I add my next two blocks. So I can trim off that jogged out corner. You can see it hanging out there and I can use the ruler to trim that and clean up my edges if I chain piece or I rough cut before I add my next two locks. And after I add my next two locks, I would have that and that. And there are the skinny logs. So the ruler is designed so that you can trim after each round. So if I was going to trim my wide round, I would go ahead and lay the wide round one square down on my center square. And I have trimmed this block already. And then I would go ahead and trim there and there. It's handy to have a rotating ruler or rotating cutting mat for this. Because now I'm going to actually flip my block and I am going to look for my narrow round one. I'm going to rotate this so you guys can see that more easily. I'm going to look for my narrow round one square and I will line that up on my center square and trim there and there. So these pieces can actually be rough cut. They can be cut a little wider. Um, it's a great ruler to actually use to bust some of your scraps. And really all you have to do is make sure you have one flat side so that you have a flat edge where you're sewing it to the block. And you would continue then to add rounds. So here's a block with one round added and you can continue to add rounds, two rounds and three rounds. And the ruler is marked so that you can square up after every round. So you have narrow round one, two, and three. And when you flip it the other way, you have wide round one and two. And then the third one is actually your last um, trim up. The nice thing here too is if you see the dashed lines on the ruler, they can actually be lined up with seam lines on your block. So along with lining up that center square, you're also lining up those seam lines and it just helps you position the ruler more accurately before you trim. So a fun, fun, fun ruler, great scrap busting ruler. You can do a lot of blocks with this um, and we have lots of fun pattern options for it as well. You can find this ruler and associated patterns um, on our website at www.redpinequiltshop.com. And we hope you enjoyed getting a look at the Curvy Log Cabin Ruler and some of the fun projects that you can make with it. And uh, we also feel like, you know, like I said, it's a great scrap buster tool. And I love tools like that, that you can burn through some of those scraps that are accumulating in your stash and use some of those up and make something fun with them. So thanks for joining us today.